Hey guys, it's Keith from Kinvert, and one of the things we go through a lot is cube batteries, right? This is a small fraction of our fleet that we use to teach kids, and so you can imagine with three cubes for every one of these Cosmos, and this is just some of our Cosmos, we go through a lot of cube batteries. And so we're going to show you how to change it, how to take the cube apart. Don't be afraid of the process, it's quite simple. And uh, we're going to also show you the right battery to put in here. This isn't AA, this isn't AAA, this isn't a battery that you have sitting around. You want to get the right one so it fits and it doesn't burn this cube out. Nothing to be worried about, we're going to have a link in the description for the batteries. So let's begin the process, okay? Right now we're looking at the top of the cube, and you can tell that because of the lights here. Now what we're going to do is flip this over and show you the screw. So we're looking at the screw. I'm going to get this as close as I can so you can see this is a Phillips head screwdriver. See how it looks kind of like a cross? And now I'm going to try to show you the tip. This means we need a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, no big deal. So we got a Phillips head screwdriver right here. Hopefully it's focused. And there we go. So this is a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, it's got that kind of cross shape on it. All right, so now I'm going to get the cube and find that screw. And we're just going to take it out. Lefty loosey, nice and simple. So here comes that screw out of there. It's going to slightly spring open. Nothing to be afraid of here. See that? And now we're going to gently just take this off, and it just comes apart. It's two different pieces. All right? And so I'm just going to set down the lid, and I'm going to show you this battery. So this will link below. Um, there's multiple names. We'll, we'll call it the N-size battery. This is an N-size battery. You can see the nub is on the top. This is the positive end. And you can see on this particular battery, you can see the plus symbol there. Okay? Now this battery is fine, so I'm just going to put it back in. Um, but generally you'd be, you know, um, recycling your old battery and um, putting in the new battery. And you can see that the nub is pointed up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this lid again, and you can see this little curved part. I'm going to put it back in the slot here, and then I'm going to start to close this. Now once I close it, these lights will blink. See, they may be gently blinked. We got a lot of light on to be able to see, but... Um, generally that light's going to blink. We'll flip it back over and find that screw. There it is. And we're going to screw that back in. Am I in the camera? There we go. And I'm going to just righty-tighty screw that screw back in. Nice and simple. We've got a good working cube. This was a Cosmo cube. Let's do the same thing. It's the same process, but we'll do this also for a vector cube. So we'll go ahead and grab the vector cube. And you can tell which is the top because of the lights again. We're going to flip it over just like before, find that screw, and here it is, same type of screw, it's just a Phillips head screw. We're going to go ahead and take that out. Take our screwdriver, Phillips head, lefty loosey. It'll spring open gently. That's normal. See that? Set down the screwdriver, and then we just take apart the halves. I'll set that down, and again, the positive end is up. You can see the nub there. I'll get as close as I can, see if it keeps focusing. You can see the nub there, right? The nubby end is going to point up. The flat end is on the bottom, right? So we put that back in the cube. All right. We're going to put the lid back on. Imagine this is the new battery because our batteries are fine. I'm just showing you how to do this. We're going to put the lid back on. So hopefully you can see this going back together. Now I'm going to flip this so you can see the lights. See, on this one, the lights are brighter. The lights shine when you put it back in. That's going to indicate to you that you did it correctly. All right, and I'm going to put the screw back in here. Righty-tighty. Don't tighten it too much. You don't want to torque that down, uh, torque that down way too much um, because there's plastic parts in there. And there we go. We've got a good vector cube. And that's it. That's the process. Nice and simple. We're going to have a link below to the batteries. Uh, full disclosure, we're going to make a few cents when you buy it, um, so it'd be great if you'd help support us, but, you know, that said, it's only a few cents, but, you know, um, so yeah, that is how you change the Q batteries for the Cosmos and Vector. Thanks a lot.